So hello and uh, welcome to a, another video and you can see I'm not alone, I'm with John. This is John Dodd, um, he is the chairman of the Nantwich Camera Club and I know I'm not in the Nantwich Camera Club anymore but uh, he still comes around for a coffee and some tea every so often. Um, I'm here to do a review. Uh, KNF has sent me a tripod and I thought what better way to review a tripod because I'm biased by my own tripod. What better way to do a review on a tripod than to actually give it to someone that is likely to buy one and use one. Um, you know I've got a very big Benro. Um, but yeah, what better way to review a tripod than to give it to someone that's actually gonna use it. So John's had the tripod. I'm gonna show you the tripod now. Um, we've got a code number for this, haven't we? Somewhere, let's just have a look. The number for this is a SA254T1. It's a KNF concept tripod. Um, as you've seen before, I've done quite a few tripod reviews. Um, with KNF and also filters and stuff like that. In fact, I've actually got their bag out with me today and you're sitting on another KNF tripod. Um, we've come over to Nant Mill. Uh, I wanted to, well, John fancied a bit of a walk, um, not too far, not too strenuous and a little bit straight and level. Uh, took him to Nant, uh, Nant Mill Waterfall. Uh, I have been there before and I've taken some pictures there before. There's not a lot of water around, but there's an awful lot of kids around, aren't there? <laughs> Jumping in the water. Now they've been leaping in. I've got a bit of video footage, so I'm gonna pop a little bit on and show you why we're talking. Uh, but like I said, we're here to review this tripod. So first thought, straight out the bag. What did you think of it, John? Looks impressive. Uh, I found it a little bit confusing as to where, what goes where. Um, and it was rather stiff. They, yeah, uh, they, they, out of the box they are a bit stiff, Paul aren't tells they? me that that is the, the norm for it. Yeah. Um, you can hear those clicks going on the, on the adjusting sort of on the handles, ratchets, yeah. on the ratchets. But I wasn't very happy with the actual clip itself. Yeah, I've had a, you they, showed us just now about the actual clips on it. Yeah. They work, they're very good and they lock in very tight, um, but you need, more agile fingers and this is why I, you know, I like the idea of giving it to John to try out because his fingers might not be quite as agile as mine but more likely to be agile as yours you know that's that's the idea behind it mm. but I like the ball head I think that was superb it's very smooth if you're doing panel shots or um, just lining up it is you can adjust that to whatever tension you wish but it's it's very good and also a light, that centre column. That yeah, this, this is another one of the tripods. I, I did a review on one definitely last year or the year before. And um, it had this same feature where you could flip the top out and flip it over. And yeah, I like that. it can be very useful. Yeah. Yeah. Not only outdoors with it, but if you think you're working inside, doing a bit of tabletop, yeah. you can get close yeah, yeah. to the table like so. Yeah. And you're down looking into whatever it is that yeah. you know. Yeah, that's to, kind of how I use use the yeah, other one in the past, the looking shot. looking down in the top of water bowls and things. Yes, yeah. Um, I've had this out just now. We've had I actually got down near the water's edge, and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of B-roll footage while I'm talking over it. And basically, what I did is I took the tr took the tripod off of John because I'm a little bit more agile. Like I say, I could get a little bit closer to the edge of the water, and I took three shots. Uh, I'm going to show you the three different photographs. I'm going to put them all next to each other. But I used the tripod's features to try and get the best out of the images and to try and show you the difference in the images. So I started off with the tripod in normal tripod position. Um, I had the tripod head up, and I had the camera on the top. Hey, all right. <laughs> I had the camera on the top, and then. I moved the camera from a standard tripod position and I underslung the head. So I took the whole of the centre column out, which comes out really quite easily. Um, yeah, and I like that because you can... Undersling it, yeah, you can get down really, really low. So if you're doing macro and stuff like that, you can get right down to the floor's edge. So you basically, let's just jump it off in, right? Yeah. There you go. So you basically take out the um, bag hook, which again is another great little feature of the bag. You unscrew that, pull the tripod column out, turn it round, invert it and slide it back in the bottom. And it goes in quite easy, it locks in really, really well. So mm. that's what I did. I underslung the head, put my camera on the bottom and I was shooting right down to the floor level. Uh, we're probably about an inch off the floor. So you're getting a different perspective by getting down really, really low and shooting across the floor yeah, edge. So like that it, it exaggerates that floor for wide angles. If you're like me, you can't get 
down and dirty so often so yeah so they'll um, undersling it and let it hang down you can undersling it yeah. and let it hang down and you're taking shots that you would normally you have to normally, yeah. Def oh god get. yeah definitely belly height yes um, yeah. and then the third shot i took um the tripod still in the underslung position um, I hooked my bag over the tripod leg so the leg was out wide I hooked my bag over it to give the leg support and to give it some weight on the tripod and then I out I'd sort of underslung and outreached if you like if that's a fancy way of doing it so I had the camera I basically had the tripod head upside down like so then I reached this out and underslung and reached out with this so this was coming out between the tripod legs and my camera was sat on there so i've not only come down low but i pushed the camera then right out into the water or over the water's edge over the waterfall to be yeah. able to get another different shot on it yeah. um so yeah i'll show you those three images that's that's really the, that's the best features of the tripod with, you couldn't do it on a standard tripod no, no definitely not no having struggled in the past with the likes of bembo with all its sort of gangly oh legs yeah definitely definitely whatever, that's something um so you've got two panos on this as well you can see on here we've got the feature to pano the top part and you also got the feature to pano the bottom part or mm -hmm. should i say the top part and the bottom part so they do actually both work separately um so there is two actual pano features so if you can't reach the dial on one side you can have the other dial on the other side so you can bring one side round for you to use your pano bring the other side round on the other side so if you're left-handed and you're like strongly left-handed you can undo your ball head and work your pano with the same hand yeah. without having to try and use two hands so that's another little um feature for it um, by having the double head on it um how did you find the grips how did you find the actual grips easy for easy yes as you say you can do them individually or you can do all th three at once yeah. and the whole thing comes out to a height now <laughs> i want the light to reach because that, you can't i've just high. i've just tested this height out with john how tall are you john just under six just, i was gonna say just about yeah. six foot i'm i'm five eight john's definitely a bit taller than me yeah. and we've just extended this from full height that's all the way from the one two three four sec we've well, got three sections and then solid top section so your four parts of the tripod you've yeah. then got your sliding part which is here which you can then slide out and then you've got another section inside here which you can slide out so this is absolutely enormous this thing is massive <laughs> this makes my benro look like a little kid's toy when you've got it up in the air it's so so tall it is phenomenal you can't it really reach is. It there's no way you can reach it up there now you probably think to yourself why would you want anything so so tall well i showed john that you'd extend two legs out into the water and you can still shoot yep. at a good height uh, that's one feature the other thing is you could have your camera on a remote um, and you can have your camera so far above people's heads that you wouldn't even know people are in the shot so for crowd shooting it would really work well um, yeah. There is another feature that was work well, and I could probably show you quickly. You can take this off for starters. I'm going to show you just, it yeah, works like a boom. So you can take that off, and you can take this off. I don't know if I can get that unscrewed. I'm going to show you really. This is live time. You know, it's Compton style. We don't mess around here. <laughs> we do everything live. So we take this out the bottom, we take the center column out, we put that to one side, we then attach this to the bottom you didn't know this did you you no. attach this to the bottom of this <laughs> so with this fully extended and it does say stop on the top there so with that fully extended i can put my camera my gopro on the end of this and i can lift this up so high that i can almost do a drone shot with it i can actually set that up and do a complete drone shot this thing's got to be 10 or 11 foot <laughs> 10 or 11 <laughs> foot tall i can reach that bush at the back there with it you know and it's not overly heavy it's it is aluminium it's not a carbon tripod but this is absolutely huge so if you're a videographer and you want to do them them crane shots this is the way to do it now i will do some b-roll of this um i'll attach the camera to it after i finish talking i'll do a little bit of b-roll just to show you what sort of crane shots you're going to get with something as tall as this and i'm telling you this is this is massive <laughs> absolutely massive so if you just want a decent boom this is something for a decent boom it really is um with the monopods light as well the monopods light yeah as a monopod it, it works really well afternoon with a walking stick. yeah you've had a walking stick with you i've been carrying this around not knowing what it yeah <laughs> it was like i said john forgot his walking stick so i gave him mine out of boot <laughs> so this is ideal you know to be using as a walking stick as long as you lock them off tight yeah um the other thing it does We've got bits everywhere now, aren't we? Good job I know it all goes back together. The other thing with these is they have removable feet. So you can take the feet off, like so. There you go, like so. And you can buy 
spikes for it spikes. and attach spikes. And you know me, I love me spikes. I have spikes on all my tripods mm. and uh, I don't even use the feet anymore. Yeah. Features wise, have we got any more features? Not really, there is a little thread on the top. It looks like a little quarter inch thread there. So you can attach a little hook on the top for hanging your bag on the top there or hanging your uh, filters on, which is something I do quite a lot of. Um, but yeah, your thoughts. I've been rambling again. I've done what I normally do and I took over again. Yes, well, <laughs> I've enjoyed it. I, so, if you're in the market for a tripod, the last thing you can do, or I feel you can do, is to try and buy one offline without seeing it. They don't like you going into the camera shops and trying to half a dozen Not at the time. Not at the moment, no, they really don't. Moment. So, I found that this feature, as I say, or well, this assistance by Paul was great. Um, would I buy one like it? Yes, if I'm only walking a short distance. I can't walk up Snowden, but if I was, I wouldn't take this. <laughs> it's a little bit heavier than what you were hoping, it's I think, wasn't it? a little bit heavier, yes. Yeah. Whether the carbon one is slightly lighter, I do not know. But um, for staying in one place and sort of using it in situ, then it's great. Um, Value-wise, what's it cost? I'm not it's sure. Not I think it's somewhere in the region of about a hundred pound. I think yeah, it is. Um, I did have a look. Um, I did have some details on my phone. Um, I'll give you some specs. Let's see if I'm. Let's yeah. Give you some specs. We've got on here. There is actually an offer on at the moment, exactly. but unfortunately, I think the offer is going to be out by the time this video goes out because yeah. it says here I've got another seven seven hours before it goes off. Um, I think this one is this the. Let's just make sure it's the two five forty. 2540 right so i've got the specs on here its retail price is 146 pound mm. um but at the moment they're doing it for 100 pound um but that's only for seven hours and i'm afraid this won't be going out <laughs> till at least five days time no. um it's classed on here as a carbon uh, it's cut sorry it's classed on here as a lightweight compact tripod um it's, it's 93 only... inches 93 inches, inches. fully extended. <laughs> yeah, that, that is huge, yes, it really is. Yeah. Um, what other specs we've got on here for you? Um, actually, it says on here, professional 94 inch ultra tripod. Um, it really is quite flexible, good ball head. It's got a 360 degree view, which we've shown you. Yep. You can actually tilt the arm out and spin it 360 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, the monopod is fully extended, like I had it with a boom, is 2.5 meters which is 98.4 inches. So that is absolutely horrendously tall. Um, this thing will go right down to the floor as well. The legs will actually fold out all fold the way out. flat. Yes, I noticed um, that. It will take a 22 pound payload. So it'll take a 22 pound camera, which is 10 kilograms. So it's going to take quite a lot of weight on that little um, head. Mm. You also get the plate with it as well. Yes. Um, what else we've we got on here? Let's just have a look. Yep, underslung, easy to use. Standard working height is 2.39 meters, which is 94.1 inches. Um, that's your standard full extended height as a tripod. Mm -hmm. um, column down, you're looking at 67.7 inches, which is 172 centimeters. Um, it comes in a bag, as you've seen yeah, there. There's a bag right, there, you've got a camera strap with it as well. Yeah. Um, what else can I say about this spec wise? Folded, it is 57 centimeters. So folded down to fit in the bag, it goes under 57 centimeters, which is 22.4 inches. Um, and the lowest, the lowest tripod height is 27 inches, which is 69 centimeters. So it's it's quite a it's quite a good tripod for an all rounder. Mm, yes. Um, I wonder why they didn't make that as a one piece sort of. Um, yeah, I've I've noticed them in the past. Why do you have the washers on them and stuff like yes. that? Yes. Well, the washers fine, but why? Make one it thing a I will say about this, and I did mention this in my other review, and I'll put a link up to you so you can see the review that I did in the last one. When I first had this, and I extended this, the top column out, it actually came out of my hand, and I did actually contact K and F and say, look, this is. This is a bit dodgy, why has this happened? Mm. And I found there's a, a like a, a, a locking washer screw that fits to the end. And I just said to John, I just lifted this one up down by the water's edge mm. and it came out of my hand. And I thought it was a bit strange to actually have that come out of my hand. And I said to him, I can guarantee you, I can guarantee that there yeah. is a, a, a piece missing. And it's basically that piece there, right on the end of there. If you find you've got a tripod and this top column comes out, 
just shake it. If it rattles, this is inside. So you just need to take the column out, straighten it out, tip it upside down, take that screw out and put it on the bottom. Um, I will mention it to KNF again that it's happened, um, especially for somebody in something sent out as a reviewer, um, you'd expect it to be spot on. Um, and he's going to put that back together before he loses it as well. So yeah, I'm pretty much sure that's covered everything. Uh, your, your ultimate thoughts then, John? You, you, you said you wouldn't get one to carry around with you. Is that weight-wise more than anything? I think weight-wise is, is the biggest. In my um, Even though it's situation, lightweight, it needs to be lighter still. I think so, yes. As I say, I don't know what the difference in weight between the carbon and... The carbon will be lighter. The only, the only thing with carbon that I find over other things... I mean, the other tripod you're on at the moment is a carbon fiber one. It weighs nothing. Mm. But then I wouldn't trust my tripod on something that weighs nothing. No. There's a little bit of weight in this that's enough to hold the tripod. I had yes. it down on the water's edge, like you've seen in the videos. It would suit 99% um, of, of the people, but I say... Uh, so you're looking for extreme lightweight uh, and still a working height. <laughs> and having said that, I changed to Fuji because it's light, and then all of a sudden started adding lenses and yeah, 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 and definitely. We're back to the Canon weight again, but that is my sort of error, as it were. But uh, yeah, um, as a tripod goes, it's solid. Um, it would even support me trying to get up off my knees if should I ever get down <laughs> there, you know, which is something. Um, pros outweigh their cons. The um, I'm not happy with no, this. No, I'm, I'm not so keen on them. I'm going to have a little look when I get back because it might be just a case that they want nipping up with yes, a screw. But yes, the when you showed me this morning, them, it definitely was fiddly, wasn't it? Yeah, some of them, if you don't quite get it square, it twists on it and mm. it will never override those sort of ratchet blocks, as it were. Yeah, yeah, but as a tripod goes, it's, it's well made. I like the colours. The colours are important. Colors. Some people buy it yeah. because of the colours and it is yeah. really quite a pretty tripod. Yeah. If you like me and you read instructions because you like to think of what uh, what else it does, then the instructions are a little bit... Um, hard to understand. Hard to understand. Yeah. Chinese do not interpret English very well. <laughs> but then, you know, um, that's not news. You also get, I just noticed with John's handle, you also get um, some sponge on one of the legs, so it's a little bit cooler for carrying around, yes, uh, yeah. or warmer to carry around in the winter, so that's a thing. Yeah. yeah. But so, yes, yeah. Um, um, I think I'm that's pretty much, I'm I think we've covered, covered most of it. I'm happy that I've had a play with it because, as I say, to walk into any old shop and say, well, can I try that? And then, you got to take your gear in. Can Do I you know try what? Trying it in a shop, it's never the same either, is it? No, no, you want it in the field. You've got no. No streams, no banks, no nothing, have you? And, um, yeah, all right, you can say go to the show, but then you, you know, you're just blinded with everything. Yeah, then, you, know, you get an Allen key with it as well. Mm. That's that's important. But I'm yes. not sure what the Allen key fits, but we'll have a look. It, it, is it a, must be for these tripod legs. Let's just have a little look. Cause it, if it fits those, actually, yeah. but... Um, it fits the tripod legs for nipping them up. Um, but they're probably locked in with Loctite, so they're going to be quite tight. Yeah, tight. Um, so I'm not going to undo them now while we're out. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, that's the review covered on it. It's pretty good. You've got a, one other thing. You do have a little bubble on the top of the uh, head, which I really don't bother with. I don't understand why we put a bubble there, because if you get that perfectly level, it might not be looking at the thing you want to look at. No. Ideally, a bubble should be on the tripod, so you can get your tripod level, yeah. and then your head's irrelevant to I where it points. I tend to use the sort of uh, aid in the camera to get my levels. To get you an idea, yes. yeah. Yes, um, yeah. if I relied on that, I'd be, yeah. I'd be glad to, <laughs> to see it. <laughs> it is quite small, isn't it? But, um, yeah. yeah, no, that's, um, that's the KNF tripod done, mm. reviewed. I think we've told you everything there is to tell you about it. Um, I think it's the sort of thing that Denise would use as well. Definitely for a macro, she likes to get down low. So if you're looking for something that wants to get down low or mm. over slinging a wall or over slinging a tabletop, absolutely brilliant, yes, brilliant idea. Yes, idea for that tabletop. Um, and, um, far more technical alive. than what I use my tripod for. Yes. So thanks for watching. Thanks to John for yeah. trying it out and testing it. Thanks I am actually going to do him a favour. If he wants to keep this, he can keep it. Um, for doing this for me and doing the favour, I'm going to let him keep it. So, Ooh, hey. if you don't really like it and you don't want it, then I'll keep it. But if you really, if you know, you can, if I can sway you, <laughs> then I'll let you keep hold of it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for doing that, John. And uh, yeah, till next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other reviews. I am very different to other people. I don't mess around. I come out with pure, honest, one-time reviews. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao for now. See you on the next one. Bye.